good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of the day it is you're joining us for this, the Tulsa World Scene podcast. Uh, I'm joined today by uh, the lovely and talented Grace Wood. Um, the equally lovely and talented uh, Jimmy Trammell is, as they say in the news business, on assignment. Um, <laughs> today we're talking about uh, things that uh, we've been uh, dealing with in, 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 in cultural things, high and low. Um, a band that has become uh, quite known around town is Count Tutu. And uh, one of its members is is branching out into solo work. And Grace, you you have something about that, I believe. I do, yes. So my story that I'm working on right now is about a local musician named Nathan Wright. And yeah, our listeners might know him best as being one of the front men of Count Tutu. But um, he and I connected on Instagram because he just announced a new project where he's releasing a song and an accompanying music video every six weeks for a whole year. Um, and each of them kind of revolves around some of the same themes and like some of the subject matter, just things like trying to live and survive and make sense of life in the digital age and social media and even like internet conspiracies. He touches on those and things like that. But there's also references to literature and poetry that kind of ground the work and they make it really thought provoking. So I interviewed him about the first song he released, which is called I've Trapped Myself in a Naturally Forgotten Theater. And my interview with him will probably come out later this week. Not totally sure when yet, <laughs> but um, we'll have the music video and the song available on our website for whoever wants to hear it. So um, just be checking on that. <laughs> well, is, 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 uh, is the music and, and, and the song itself, is, is it something that is very different from the sort of music that Count Tutu does? Is this like a whole different side of uh, this artist or is it um, kind of kind of a continuation of, of the work that he's been doing with the band? Yeah, I would say it's honestly like a big departure from Count Tutu. They're kind of known for their um, Afro beat and R&B style that's very like dance friendly and um, they're just very upbeat shows. And this music, if you listen to it, it's got like a heaviness to it. It's very, like I said, thought provoking. It's it's slower. It's kind of darker almost. So, and I'm not sure if all the songs are going to be just like that, but at least this first one, I was really surprised the first time I, I heard it because I was like, this is not, you know, the brass band that I've been listening to. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's really different and it's cool to see him kind of explore this different side of his musical abilities. So it's really interesting. Okay. All right. Well, uh, speaking of music, uh, our, our, our colleague, Mr. Trammell, although he is not here, he did let us know what he's been working on. And I believe this Sunday he will have a story on uh, the church studio, which was um, a, 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 a hub of musical creativity uh, when it was owned and run by Leon Russell. Um, it has been six months since uh, the church studio has been uh, reopened to the public, both as a uh, performance venue, uh, as a wedding venue. I believe they had their, they held their first wedding uh, there last month uh, and um, ultimately as, as, as a recording studio. And he has a kind of an update on, on how things have, how, how the church studio has fared over, over the past uh, uh, year and a half. Uh, and speaking of years, um, there is a new gallery that has opened in the Cherry Street area of Tulsa called the Hewlett Collection uh, that specializes in fine art photography. And its first exhibit, uh, which will be on display through October 1st, is called A Century of Photography. And it has a selection of images, usually about three or four, from uh, each decade, from night from the 1920s to the uh, 2020s. Uh, there are some very uh, famous names uh, uh, in it. Uh, uh, Ansel Adams, who, who, whom everybody who knows anything about photography has heard of. Uh, Henri Cartier-Bresson is represented. Andre Kertesz, um, and then other names that are well known in the photography world, if not well known to the general public. Um, uh, Michael Hewlett, who is the uh, owner of the gallery, um, 
is a native Tulsan who uh, worked in uh, worked with some of the the leading uh, music photographers in the Los Angeles area for a number of years, and then also was the director of a gallery called the Peter Fetterman Gallery in Santa Monica, which is also well known for photography. He moved back with his uh, family to Tulsa uh, and has started this gallery, and all the images are from his own collection. Uh, it's a very uh, neat shop. It's a neat show, and he's going to be doing uh, subsequent shows uh, as, uh, as as the years go on. So we'll have a story about that coming um uh, on this Sunday. That's cool. Where you know, on it, is the gallery? Um, it is um, in the, um, uh, I'm not to think of direction. It's in the Northeast corner. Um, you, you know, the, the Palace Cafe is on uh, the corner of 15th and mm -hmm. Peoria. It's in that storefront. It's right about in the middle. Oh, gotcha. Um, yes. And, uh, and it's only been it opened like late July, so it's not been open uh, too terribly long. So uh, I believe its hours are eleven to six Wednesday through Saturday. Uh, they can be open other days on on appointment. But uh, and uh, so speaking of music, the show that will that he'll open in early October is called going to be called Hammer of the Gods: Music from the Nineteen Seventies, and it's going to be all photographs of of uh bands from that from that era so that should be I have a book called hammer of the gods that was on my bookshelf <laughs> last night but i moved it because i'm moving into a new apartment oh my okay <laughs> grab well, it and pull it out <laughs> okay. is, is, is it the, the is it the led zeppelin biography okay all right well this 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 will be slightly uh, he worked with um neil preston who is one of the preeminent uh, photographers of the rock world, as he said, uh, any image that you can think of of Freddie Mercury or Led Zeppelin is probably one of his, mm -hmm. uh, Neil Preston. So uh, I'm sure he'll be represented uh, in this in this next show. But the one that he has up now has got some uh, really fascinating uh, works in it that's worth checking out. So. Mm -hmm. um, if you are if you are are, are feeling hungry and uh, want to at least uh, have the illusion of being in a cool place, um, we would recommend checking out uh, Freya Nordic Kitchen, which is at thirty uh, fourth and Peoria. It's the latest concept by uh, Justin Thompson Restaurants, Scandinavian uh, uh, inspired. Uh, food. Um, we'll have a review of that coming up uh, next week as well. Um, uh, closing out, uh, you, you normally we we have we have uh, Grace talk about a home that she's been uh, covering, but I think you're 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 dealing with something a little bit different when it comes to interior design this this week. Yes. Um, so for my Saturday World of Home story, um, I wrote about some Tulsa parents who are really trying to get involved and make a difference in their community. Um, I talked to a woman named Ashley Daly and her husband, Ryan, and their parents to a first grader at the Mayo Demonstration School, which is actually right next to my house. So I only had to walk about a block to go meet them. Um, and Ashley started a gardening initiative at the school. Um, just to really beautify the school and she's partnering with parents and their kids to start gardening there and they're currently working hard to revamp a pollinator garden that's in front of the school and just bring some more plant life into the area and um, Ashley talked a lot about just kind of the value of teaching these kids at the school the importance of gardening um, the value of being outside and really like being a steward to nature, which she said is especially valuable now after the pandemic, you know, when kids were inside doing Zoom school, there's a Zoom school for like, you know, almost two years. And so she and her husband and just lots of other people in the community are um, really trying to just beautify the area and cultivate plant life and flowers. And they're really excited to provide the kids with just a more beautiful place to learn. 
Um, and Mike Simons took some awesome photos of Ashley and her daughter and a couple other families planting outside. Um, so if anybody wants to see those, they will be in Tulsa World this Saturday. All right. Well, that, that I think kind of wraps up what we have for uh, this week. We want to thank you for checking us out. We'll um, no doubt uh, see you at a later date and we'll say bye for now. Bye.